Hey, it's Rick and Lisa. Here we go again. And Nikki. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about the birds and the bees. Not those okay. kinds of birds and the bees. Again, ev they do it every year. Around this time of year, the birds build a nest. And they like to build a nest in my wreath on the front door. Which is... I have mixed feelings about it because it's like, oh to build a nest and she picked my wreath I feel a little honored <laughs> but at the same time it's like you're ruining my wreaths they've ruined every single wreath because every year they do it there last year I remember um, I came outside and one of the little babies was like right on the ground so I picked him up and put him back in and then he flew back out yes so, so you're not supposed yeah, don't don't you're touch not supposed to touch birds them. or any wild yeah. animal let them go so anyway they're you're doing more harm than good the nest is there. We don't have any eggs yet. And then one year, I think you closed the door and an egg fell out and mm -hmm. broke. And then I felt bad about that the whole day. Because, you know. We, tell us in the comments the oddest place a bird has built a nest at your place. Now. The front door. The bees. The bees. The bees. The bees. Oh, the bees. I'll tell you the bee story. Um, we bought this house you know, 20 years ago. And everything was good with the uh, air conditioning and the heating. And then one fall, when we turned the heat on, the furnace would stop. It would just stop. And you had to go and like hit the breaker again. Mm -hmm. And then it, it would go on for a while, and it would stop. So we called some heating and air conditioning people to come over. They took it apart. Didn't, didn't really find anything, but thought, it's going to be okay now. Well, they put something in, some new part in. But it doesn't matter, because it didn't work. Right. And it didn't work. Right. And then it finally got to the point where it wouldn't work at all. So that's a good place to be because at least you don't have something, you know, uh, working when somebody's watching. That's right. the way it always is. So it took about, what happened was apparently a bee, bees made a nest in the intake of the furnace because furnaces need air to burn. And uh, I guess it gradually sucked it back a little by a little by a little by a little till it got all the way back. So what I do now, and I got to get down there and do that. Because it happened pretty two soon. years in a row. It happened two years in a row, yeah. And the second year is like, duh. But they, same thing, put a new part in. <laughs> it's like, uh, and then they found the nest. So anyway, uh, I have a little ritual. I do have little caps to put on the intake. Uh, matter of fact, I should be doing that this time because I see the bees are out there. So then I take, put them off, uh, or take, screw them on in the spring and take them off in the fall. Yeah. Oh, tell us too, the oddest place you had a bee's nest because you know, they build like in your car. Excuse me. He's saying we've been on long enough. Yeah, That's he's like, wrap this thing up. We're, we're going to go for a walk. Want to go for a walk? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. Do you go for a walk? <laughs> want to go for a walkie? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you next time then. Rick and Lisa, same bat time, same bat channel. Nick too, right there. Okay.